Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your full moon reading um, for March 12th. So of course, energy permeates, right? Um, and especially so during the full moon, that energy is super strong. So it may um, extend, right, a few days before or a few days after, all right? Nonetheless, um, the full moon is a time where the moon's energies are at their peak, okay? peak energy flow, very strong fire um, energy that's being channeled through. So um, it's a great time. It's a great time to, to assess, to, um, to kind of bring an awareness about how are we channeling that fire energy, right? During the full moon, am I channeling my fire energy in a positive way, right? How am I expressing that more dynamic creative side to myself? Um, is it coming out, right, in a way that, that I align with, that I feel is helping me create and manifest, right? The moon cycle being very much a cycle of manifestation in and of itself. So this full moon is in the sign of Virgo, a service-oriented sign, earth sign. Um, so there's a focus, right, on the give and the take, in a situation, absolutely. Um, in, in, in terms of either service or relationships, partnerships, whatever it may be. So um, now, the, the, um, the full moon right, brings about a sort of uh, clarity each time that it, that it manifests in a month. So the clarity that it brings, the ultimate clarity that it brings relates to its corresponding new moon six months prior. So think back six months, right, to um, what you may have been uh, ruminating on, right? Really thinking about, focused on bringing into manifestation and fruition, right? And whatever that sort of nucleus of, of um, intention was for you at that time, you'll see that at this full moon today, and the few days surrounding it, we're bringing um, sort of a, a final culmination to that macro manifestation cycle, if that makes sense, all right? Now, um, aside from that, right, in a more micro sense, the full moon brings about a certain level of illumination, of clarity, as it regards um, the manifestation cycle of the month itself. So we had a new moon earlier um, this month, I believe actually at the end, tail end of February. And um, so whatever this period for you now is at the full moon, we'll be bringing the clarity as it regards a situation that that um, that that was sort of initiated around the time of the new moon of late February, early March. Okay, so very exciting. I know that a lot of signs have been going through a um, a period of absolute uprooting, transformation. The readings of the last few months, um, and particularly March, have been a whirlwind, to say the least, all right? Nonetheless, um, let's see how these energies are peaking here for you all, and I will start. Hi there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in to your full moon reading for March 12th, 2017. Wow, right up and out. The Nine of Pentacles. Haven't seen this card come out um, for quite a while. So that's interesting. And it came out horizontally here. So <clears throat> let's pull a few more cards to get a sense for that energy. Capricorn, first and foremost, thank you all so much for your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. Um, your words are so very touching, and I appreciate all of it. So thank you so much. Nice, 
nice, nice. We'll pull another card. Another two cards, actually. <clears throat> okay. Beautiful. Um, I will say this. I will say this, Capricorn. Um, there is overlap with Sagittarius for this reading, okay? There is overlap with Sagittarius. You got quite a number of cards um, that popped out for Sagittarius um, in their full moon reading, okay? So if you know Sagittarius, um, if you have a Sagittarius rising, ascendant, or moon sign, you may want to check that video out, okay? Nonetheless, Let me tune in one second. You're leading in the devil in reverse and you're leading out with the hanged man upright. That's what's framing the sort of base of the of the energies here in this spread for you. You have two tens, the ten of wands in reverse, the ten of swords upright, and the nine of wands upright. Interesting. So let me just give you a run rundown of your cards here that you pulled. Um, the Nine of Pentacles popped out in the beginning, just kind of off chance as I was shuffling. The theme for your reading is the Ace of Cups in reverse, overlaying the Daughter of Swords in reverse, overlaying the Father of Swords in reverse. All right. Interesting. Two swords sort of characters or personas showing up in your theme. Um, deep past, the devil in reverse. Recent past, the ten of wands in reverse. The current state for you now is the ten of wands upright. Sorry, the ten of swords upright. The advice is the nine of wands upright. The near future is the three of pentacles upright. Hopes and or fears, the Seven of Cups in reverse. I don't blame you. <laughs> That's a difficult energy sometimes to maneuver. So, um, but we'll get to that. All right. Hanged man, upright, in your final outcome. Crowning the reading with three energy cards. The Mother of Cups, upright, in the energy position that you stepped into that helped lead you to your current state. Followed by the environmental position of the Moon, Major Arcana. And the energetic pathway that you're moving into as you embark on this new journey ahead, or frame of mind, is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, coupled with the two cards that I wanted to pull in tandem with that. The Star in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse. So. So. Capricorn. Right off the bat, I'm getting that there is a reconfiguration of the way that you view your sense of stability, groundedness, how you utilize your resources, your finances, your material assets, your relationship to those things, right? There is some sort of reconfiguration of the way we approach that even propensity, that side to ourselves, right? This is Capricorn's card. The devil. That's Capricorn's card. So this is you showing up, right? You're, there's a shift in in your perception of how you even see yourself, and we've 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 visited that theme um, uh, several times, right, in the past readings for you. So I'm not surprised to see that popping up. Um, there's sort of a um, 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 
trans transfiguration of identity okay the uprooting of old conventional ways of thinking and acting and even habit patterns right that then led you to led you to a desire i'm feeling a desire to fulfill a deeper more intimate more sentimental emotional even compassionate space compassionate towards ourselves first and foremost right entering that space of self-love and then sharing that space right that reflective space with others i'm feeling this i'm feeling this um especially given that the mother cups is the energy that you stepped into that helped lead you to your current state okay the mother of cups is motioning over to this ace of cups which is your theme it's almost like it's almost like this is sort of what you are working so hard to bring about right it's in suspension it's in reverse so so you haven't quite yet um um kind of taken taken hold of this renewal of emotion i'm feeling i'm saying take hold because i'm feeling that it's in your hands to some degree right we're seeing a reshaping of your perception even as it regards desires right on on any level right physical foremost the devil can speak to um um lust it could speak to physical desires right our sense of sort of our expression of sexuality so i'm sensing that that there was um an expenditure of fire energy that you decided to take a closer look at right how am i wielding my drive right what am i putting it towards is it in a way that that fulfills me truly right deeply is it really satisfying for me um my relationship to the material physical world again can be relationships finances um career and even just the way that we wield our um our per perseverance right capricorn is a very very obstinate sort of energy when capricorn has um its mind set on accomplishing a task right there is no end right to which capricorn will proceed to succeed that um endeavor so there's an adamance right absolutely and so i feel that perhaps capricorn you're now um taking a step back right and 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 reviewing how am i how am i pursuing what i desire and furthermore how, how am I defining what I desire, right? And I'm sensing that there, there's a, um, a need that you're awakening to that speaks to a more, um, uh, to a softer disposition, one that you feel more connected within yourself and thereby with others, right, on an emotional level. It's like you're thinking, I, I want to know, right? I want to do something that not only brings me stability or a sense of ultimate gratification, it could be immediate gratification, right? The devil is kind of, that's, that's that kind of energy. Like, I want this, I need this, I'm going to get it. Right? I'm going to do what I need to do to get it. Um, so there's a sense of urgency as well, right? Look at this mountain goat. He's fire-footed fire-footed, running, charging up that mountain, climbing it relentlessly um, after after what it, it desires. So it's sort of like, right, there's a slowing of pace when we see the water energy coming through for you like this, right? Heavy, heavy water energy, mother of cups, motioning over to the reverse ace in your theme. So it's sort of like, right, there's a slowing down, there's a slowing down where the devil and the ten of wands took precedence before, perhaps in the past, right? In a way also where we extended ourselves and we exerted ourselves and we channeled our fire energy, our passion, our drive, even our just um, day in, day out, right? Sort of uh, contributions to bringing about stability. We, 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 um, we took a step back from that, right? And, and um, we, we sort of um, um, decided 
to, to slow our approach, to take a closer look at our approach towards achieving emotional satisfaction, right? And that is very personal, very deep, very real, very authentic, right? Long lasting even. Ironically, ironically, right? The devil, Capricorn's card is 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 of the earth element, right? It is it is um, one that is long standing, but ironically, and I'm feeling it very much so for you here, especially given this uh, ten of wands that's accompanying this card. It's kind of like the fire element, right? Which is fast moving energy. Is the focus or was the focus for you? in the past. Okay, so achieving achieving desires in a very obstinate, um, focused way, right, relentless, but in a way that was that was um, that that perhaps, um, how do I say this was somewhat was somewhat. Um, I'll say it like this. I feel like you're seeking a deeper sort of impetus by which you act, okay, with these two cards, okay. So there's a slowing down, right? It's like, oh, before I act, before I desire, I want to, to consult my intuition. I want to come from a place that is, um, right, not only of my own sort of immediate um, sensation or desire, but rather one where where I am living from a place that is um, consults all of my being, right? Not just my earth and not just my fire, right? But also my spirituality, my emotional self, my my propensity to remain compassionate towards myself, to love myself and thereby to love others and offer them that same sort of reflective space of appreciation. So I'm getting, I'm getting that this is something that you're yearning for, that you have yearned for, that you, um, that you woke up to and you realized, right? And that led you to the Ten of Swords. Lots of swords, lots of sword air energy showing up for you as it pertains to this new beginning that regards perhaps love, emotions, the renewal of them, okay? And it may be, it's almost like this, it's almost like this, mother of cups, right? She's like, she's like, the way I have it in my spread, she's motioning over all of my stones here, rose quartz, amethyst, citrine, tourmaline, over at the Ace of Cups. It's like there's so much noise. It's almost like the Mother of Cups is like, you know, motioning, you know, in a dream where you, it's like you're trying to shout, but your voice doesn't work in the dream. It's kind of like that, right? And that's a feeling I'm getting here. There's a lot that needs to be, um, you're trying to maneuver your way through this kind of new terrain, right? It's almost like this was a world that you knew for quite some time. That was how you behaved or how you acted for a long time, perhaps, right? Where it was like a habit. And now it's like, it's like waking up and deciding, I want to start anew. I, I want to reinvent myself, right? I want to change my habits. I want to change the way I do things. But naturally, that process of uprooting has a lot of moving parts to it, perhaps, right? You have to work through and detoxify, especially, right? From the energetic archives attached to this past, right? So it's the reformation of perception, of action, And inevitably, right, that process, you may be almost like trying to wrap your, your mind around, right, intellectualize it in some shape or form, right? Like, how do I go about um, opening myself up to this more, right? So capacitating that more sentimental, softer side. It's almost like 
it's a little clunky it's a little right it's a little bit like oh, how do we how do we do this but it's just the beginning i'm feeling for you it's it's just the beginning um and um it's like you just gotta oil the wheels right um I'm feeling for you, Capricorn, meditation is key. Meditation is absolutely key for you, all right? Um, especially focusing on the heart chakra, okay? And again, right, that's like speaking to the love space, right, that we share with others. But really, and especially as I'm feeling it for you here, Capricorn, it's first opening yourself up to that space within yourself, right, with yourself. Um, and becoming comfortable in that space, right? Acquainted with that space or reacquainted with that space. So, right? If you felt like you lost contact with that part of yourself, um, meditation may um, help, right? You enter that quiet space where you can heed the voice of your soul, right? As it guides you down this path and enables you to kind of um, realign, right? With yourself. And entering that quiet space, right? Is quite polar, right? To this 10 of swords. The 10 of swords is sort of like analysis paralysis, right? It's like, trying to wrap our mind around something that it's just too many thoughts it's it's confusing it's like it's it's exhausting is what it is all right and it's interesting because you see swords popping out and you see swords underlaying right this very soft spoken whimsical light sort of um card of of, of water of emotion of compassion so there's a dichotomy of energy appearing here for you, right? Swords, water, softness, hardness a little bit, all right? Or sharpness, rather. So you're trying to see clarity through an otherwise sort of more intuitive, spiritual, even undefinable new chapter forward in your life, okay? And it's like kind of like training wheels. That's how I feel, right? It's like, it's like when you first ride a bike, you got you have your training wheels on, right? And then you take them off, and you feel kind of wobbly. It's like that's sort of what it's like. Okay, you know you want to ride the bike, right? You got on the bike, you're like, I want to do this, right? I want to learn how to ride this bike. I want to go. I want to be able to ride far and 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 um, wide. And I want to discover places by by way of um, of cycling, right? So, but it's a matter of that. Just, just getting, getting your your feet wet with within this new sort of world um, of riding this bike. So, I'm feeling that absolutely meditation, meditation, and the connecting with yourself in that in that heart chakra sort of space will help quiet the mind as it regards maneuvering your way through along this new journey okay, towards emotional renewal. And even, even the discovery of what makes us happy, right? Thinking about what is going to make me happy, right? And meditation is, will absolutely help you crystallize that vision, right? What is the future that I dream of, taste like, smell like, feel like, sound like, right? Crystallizing that vision and crystals themselves may absolutely play um, a, a um, supplementary role in that, right? If you feel so inclined to, um, to include them in your meditative um, sessions, right? Because the Mother of Cups is motioning over to the crystals as well. Um, nonetheless, your advice is the Nine of Wands upright, okay? I'm getting this as sort of embarking out through and onto the unknown, right? Sort of like, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm being led to go in this direction, right? And there's this feeling that's the need to sort of let go. There's absolutely here a need to let go of what is physical, tangible, material, 
definite absolute in our hands that we control, right? And then we manipulate as we move forward to succeed. And similarly, the need to control our understanding of how we are to move forward upon this new path. But alas, but alas, right? There is this sort of beckoning for you to just simply start climbing, right? Start climbing this new mountain. Start spinning your wheels. Start riding the bike, right? Practice, practice. Um, meditation, I'm feeling so strongly for you, Capricorn, is going to be of tremendous help for you. Okay? So there's this peace, right, that's need to be made, that, that is needed to be made, with embarking upon the unknown in some shape or form. Okay, here we have the moon at the top of this um, the staircase of wands, right? And we see here an enchantment, an enchantment, absolutely. But also, right, a, a, a reinvigoration of the way that we that we do things, okay? Absolutely, especially from the past, okay, especially from the past compared to now. So, and it's interesting because you have the moon card, Major Arcana, right above the Nine of Wands. We will get to that, all right? But going into your near future, you have the Three of Pentacles up, right? There's a lot of culminating energy, a lot of culminating energy. Okay, but there is this desire to substantiate our path in some shape or form, right? To feel that we're contributing towards something in a, um, in a conducive way, right? That our efforts are going towards the, the um, building of a foundation that will carry us into the long term, into the future. But there is absolutely, again, right, this reconfiguration of what we feel will allow us to um, gain greater security, stability, right? And it's almost like, right, you feel that you now want to start anew, right? In terms of how do I view stability and how do I want to, to build stability around me or embody it rather, right? This is a three. It's just the very beginning of a new journey, right? Towards, um, towards, towards um, um, contributing towards and to a process of culmination. As it regards our finances, career, relationship, whatever it may be, that makes you feel stable and renews you emotionally. Your hopes and your fears is the seven of cups in reverse. So it is almost like, again, right, this mystery. You have three moons showing up here for you, three. So there's an element to this new path that you're embarking on of mystery, of not knowing exactly, not being able to rationalize your way through it, right? It's not an intellectualized sort of path forward, but you want to make sense of it. You want to be very clear, right, on, on what makes you feel emotionally stable, right? How you actually feel about a situation emotionally, what you feel will bring you a sense of emotional satisfaction and stability and clarifying that sort of um, confusion or at least, right, at least clarifying. Well, I would say this, right, this card usually speaks to the illusion of the illusion that we don't know how we feel emotionally about something. Right? So in reverse, it's kind of like the confounding of that illusion that well, I don't really know how I emotionally feel about this. You know, deep inside, you know, right? But you, it's a matter of aligning with that and being really honest with yourself about that, which again, I'm feeling is going to be, um, is, is, is going to be enabled um, by way of meditation, okay? Entering that quiet space, aligning with yourself. Um, but there is a fusion between earth and water, stability and emotions, right? And so, and there's a collaborative feeling to it as well, okay? We're seeing the um, seven of cups, three, three coming together to create one cup, one cup, 
Okay, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling for you, Capricorn, that this can absolutely regard a partnership. This can absolutely regard a, um, a love situation, right? Where you feel, how am I contributing to the situation emotionally? What am I getting out of it? What am I putting into it? And what is the other person putting into it? What are they getting out of it? How do we feel collectively together? What can we create together, right? That will, that will ultimately bring about a, 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 um, a sense of stability, Right, that is um, that is collectively brought together, right? Where the devil is more independent, right? Charging forward based on its very personal uh, sort of desires or, or vision of what it wants to um, accomplish. We see here with the three and the seven of, of cups. It's sort of like it's now it's now a joint effort. Right? We're starting anew. We're building a mountain, right? And the building of that mountain um, is not solitary. I don't feel that it's a solitary process. Okay, so you want clarity, or you at least want to make peace with the inherent mystery of whatever this journey is that you're embarking on, right? To align with the mission, right? and enter that space of honesty. And in your final outcome, you have the hanged man. Okay, so there is absolutely a reference to the theme of time. Okay, with the moon, right? Needing to wait until day comes for clarity to come about. Needing to climb the staircase waiting until we reach the moon's light, right? Until the, the day turns yet again, and there's now illumination, clarity to our path forward, and what is actually coming into fruition by way of our actions. And similarly, similarly, the hanged man, right? Waits for day to, to come. So, There is, there is a feeling of somewhat of a standstill, okay? Waiting, 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 but not entirely, right? Because look, the Three of Pentacles is active. It's like you're actively engaged in, in, um, in, in the building of this mountain, right? Of the, of the establishing of this foundation of whatever it is that you're bringing to culmination. The sort of clarity, the crystal clear sort of path forward and result and, and end goal is not entirely clear. And there's a need to wait it out, right? But to continue, continue to contribute towards the climbing of this mountain, the building of this mountain, right? And there's an understanding, an inherent understanding that the emotional clarity um, will come in time will come in time and I feel that you understand that right intuitively you and, and you're making peace with that that this is a process right and what's important is that I'm being guided by way of my intuition my deep set intuition my desires my soul desires to to pursue my truth to pursue what emotionally satisfies me and I'm going to embark on that journey, even if, right, it's dark outside. Even if the only guiding light is that of the moon, and thus that of my intuition. Okay? So I'm feeling that you're going to, you're going to contribute to the building up of whatever this is. Okay, you're going to sort of start on it, and you're going you're gonna to put into it whatever you can, right, with, with the light that you have, so to speak. And, and you're surrendering to the process. Okay, you're surrendering to the process. Absolutely. In your environment is the moon. So, and the nine of wands is leading right up to the moon card. Look at their interaction. It's rather fascinating. Three sort of culminations, right? Two trees and one um, staircase. So there's an encouragement for you to continue along this path 
to act according to your intuition, right? As it, as it summons you forward, right? Intuition, strong intuition. Reminding you, reminding you. I don't know where I'm going. I don't technically know what lies at the top of the staircase. All I know is that I'm, I'm pursuing this, okay? And I feel that, that climbing up this staircase is going to eventually lead me to that, right? However that ends up looking like or feeling like or sounding like. And so you're encouraged, you're encouraged to, even in the obscurity, right? Of the moonlight, of the night, of being in what feels like a dark forest, right? That you still continue to move forward by way of your intuition. So I'm sensing that your environment, right, it's tied to time. It's tied to a cycle of some kind as well, all right, Capricorn? It's sort of like Right? It's cyclical. The moon is very cyclical, right? It's like up and down and this is the moon cycle in and of itself and we are at the full moon. So there's a need to ride the wave out, okay? And, and to hang 10, so to speak, right? To wait it out. But there's an eagerness. Okay, to, to make sense of whatever emotional sort of um, understanding, right, that you're trying to come to that regards this, right? It's almost like, it's almost like you want the confirmation of what you intuitively know, okay? I will say this, and I will, say, I will also say this, the answers in some way are not being fully given to you quite yet, and you sense that you need to wait, okay? But there's an eagerness, an anticipation, and you, but you know, you know that it's going to come. You know it's going to come. The day will eventually rise, right? The day will eventually rise. It's not always night. Okay. Now, in your environment, uh, sorry, not in your environment, your, um, this could also be, you know, somewhat involved with your environment, right? It is sort of an environmental card in and of itself, being the Eight of Pentacles. Um, it's in reverse, but it's in your, um, it's in your energetic pathway that you're moving into as you step into the final outcome of the Hanged Man. So with the Eight of, of Pentacles in reverse, it's sort of like, I usually see the Eight of Pentacles as being so intently focused Right on on um, on on our, our day in day out sort of um, responsibilities, right? That we're almost enveloped, right, in our um, drive towards achieving security and stability, but in a way that's not really creative, not really dynamic, and not really engaging, right? our communicative, our emotional rapport with others, okay? So, and it's mirroring, it's mirroring the Mother of Cups, which is motioning over to the Ace of Cups. So it's kind of like, you're ready, okay, to, and this can play out in two ways, but I'm feeling that this can be, well, oh, okay, one second, I will, I will say this, but first let me tune it. You feel like you need to wait on something, Capricorn. You feel like you need to wait on something that you know is coming about. The day is going to rise. Look at this lamb, the sun on its forehead. But it's, but it's encaged, it's encaged, but not actually. Right? Not actually. It's it's kind of like you feel like you need to wait before you charge forward, before the day comes, before you can actualize whatever this dream is. You have a hope, you have a deep wish, Capricorn, that you can't wait to see it come about, right? That you want an, a clear answer with, that you want to confirm, that you want clarity with, right? What is the truth of this emotional situation? How do I actually, right? Um, exist in relation to, to this emotional landscape that may regard this new beginning or a new beginning with another person, 
Okay, how do they feel in this situation? What do they want? What do I want? What do we come together to create? There's some sort of, you cannot clarify that quite yet until um, the circumstance changes. Okay, I'm feeling it's a matter of circumstance. But it's like you're waiting it out. You're waiting it out. Hopeful, hopeful, right? You have that vision. That's your intent. You're, you're, you're intently set on that vision that you have. Um, and I'm, okay, this is what I'm getting. It's sort of like, in the meantime, in the meantime, while you're waiting for the day to rise, while you're waiting until you have that clear answer, before, right? There's, there's um, clarity of what even your dream or your desire is and the actualization of it. Is this focus on, on preparing the foundation, building the foundation, that which is more financial, that which is more tangible, physical, right? Environmental that will house, house this, this, um, this dream, this aspiration, this emotional truth, this new beginning. So it's almost like you're laying the groundwork, right? It's like, you know, when a baby is about to come and the parents, they start preparing the house, right? Months in advance. They're like, okay, we know that the baby, but we're going to have a child, and so we have to prepare the home. We have to buy the crib. We have to set it up, you know, however way that we need to, to prepare, right? So I'm feeling that's kind of the energy that you're engaging in now, and you're working hard towards it, and you're like, you know what? There's so much um, ambiguity around me as it regards the emotional sort of outcome um, or predicament or answer, right, of the situation, but I am going to focus on what I can do as of yet, right? And that is laying the groundwork and the foundation, the preparation um, for this new beginning, okay? So that when it does come about, right, it has sort of a, a stability upon which it can grow into the long term and it can flourish, right? It's almost like, it's like this, right? Earth and water, they, they work together in a way that is very much conducive to growth, right? You plant the seed, earth, right? You de-weed your land. You make sure that the, the soil is fertile. And then you water the seeds, right? And that's when it grows. So I'm feeling that you, the process that you're focused on now is the planting of your seeds, the preparation of your land, the de-weeding, right? The detoxification, yet again, right? Focusing intently on that, de-weeding our garden, okay? And preparing for this new beginning to come through, right? Preparing the seeds so that you can water them. Um, once that water becomes available, okay, that you can tap into officially. That's kind of what I'm feeling for you, Capricorn. So however that may mean for you guys, I'm feeling nonetheless that um, there's a desire, there's a desire and there's a um, forward looking, but there's a realization that the process can't be forced, can't be um, pushed beyond its natural sort of cycle, right? You can't like force the birth. You can't, you can't pull the sun up, all right? And, and tell the moon to, to descend and turn it into day whenever sort of you feel um, fit, right? It's like you, you are somewhat at the mercy of this natural inborn cycle of whatever situation this may be, okay? So heed your intuition as you move forward. I'm feeling that's very strong for you um, as a, a means by which you can move through this period. Now, the nine of pentacles, right, popped out in the very beginning, and it was horizontal. So there may be a financial aspect to whatever this um, process is, um, one that requires financial grounds, that requires a financing of some sort, whatever this new beginning is, perhaps the, the, um, the, the laying of this foundation that we spoke of, and you have an eight of pentacles as well, and you have a nine. So, 
there may be a financial factor to this and that may be what is holding back holding back um your ability to to fully disseminate in some way the emotionalism of whatever this is if that makes sense i'm feeling that's going to make sense for a number of you okay one second capricorn it's kind of like you want to feel stable financially and technically technically before you open yourself up in a way or or allow this this um emotional truth to reveal itself in some way there's a focus there's a focus you're trying to achieve a state of um stability and i'm feeling financial i'm feeling financial okay um so that you feel more comfortable and grounded in bringing this about okay so thank you so much capricorn i hope that this reading was helpful for you revel in that full moon energy it's a beautiful full moon um in an earth sign so it should be rather um, comfortable for you. Um, and nonetheless, right, make make use of this time. Take that meditative space, um, you know, um, to really connect with yourself. Crystallize that vision. Um, step into that heart chakra space. Absolutely. And um, heed, heed your intuition, Capricorn. I'm feeling that that's a big one for you this time around. All right? Thank you so much again. Um, I believe that's all I have to say other than, yes, of course, always check out your Ascendant Rising or Moon sign as oftentimes those will provide you with further insights. I know that I resonate a lot with my moon, so it doesn't hurt to check it out. If you don't know your signs, feel free to click the link below in the description box and that will compute your signs for you. All right. Again, enjoy the full moon Capricorn and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.